This is all well and good, but where are the trees and bushes? Let's find out. Hi guys, in this video, we're gonna be looking at how we can change over the maps in iLab Configurator. As you can see in the intro, the default map that you get is pretty much like a vector drawing. So there's very minimal detail for things like trees, bushes, stuff that you would see on a satellite map. Of course, it's road layouts, that sort of thing. That's what it was intended for in the first place. But it's the only map that can be sort of used by default, free to use. We can actually use Bing Maps for this though, but it requires us to get an API key. So let's get onto the desktop. Okay, so we'll start our journey on the iNav Configurator page, just because I want to highlight a couple of things. Now, this is the base Configurator page in GitHub, which I'll link to in the video description. And at the very bottom, there is instructions for how to use different map providers. But um, as you may have been able to tell from the last video, there's a few new things coming to iNav in regards to documentation. So if we pop into Wiki, we can see this configurator settings here, which again includes all the instructions for setting up Bing Maps. So that's covered in the documentation. So what we'll do is we'll follow this and we'll actually get our map set up. So what we need to do is pop into configurator and I've not actually got a flight controller connected to this. My flight controller's here and it's completely unplugged. But this is the mission control area where we can see the same sort of functionality. But what we want to do is just click on this gear option up here. And what we're looking to change is this area here. Now, for setting up Bing Maps, we only are interested in two things. There is this drop down box here where we can choose Bing Maps. And then we have a map API key, which is what we're going to get in a second. So what the API key does is allow the configurator, when it talks to maps, to say, yeah, this person has registered that they want to use the maps. This is their ID. Please send us the map data. Individuals can do this for free, and it's a lot less hassle than it is for an entity such as iNav to try and get all this sorted out. The map proxy stuff underneath, you don't need to worry about. This is for if you're using offline maps. Again, this is covered in the uh, documentation. So there is the maps.proxy.md document that will take you through setting that up, but I believe it's only for Linux systems. Oh no, there's Windows as well. So, but what that will do is allow you to use the maps offline. Maybe I'll look into that later on uh, in another video because it might be useful for like on a laptop if you're going to a flying field with no internet connection. But for now, we're just gonna get Bing Maps set up. So to get the API key, what we need to do is go to the bingmapsportal.com. So what I'm gonna do is copy this, and I'm actually gonna use the Edge browser. As you can see, I'm already signed in. If you haven't got an account, you will need to create an account. Or if you have got a Microsoft account, you can just sign in and use that. Like if you have like an Xbox account or whatever, it will use the same details or a Windows account, it's all the same. So you just need to create or sign in with your Microsoft account. And what we're gonna do is go to my accounts and my keys. And this is where we will generate our key. Now you can see I've already set one up for iNav Configurator, but what I'm going to do is go through the process of actually creating a new one. What we're going to do is click on create a new key. So you'd give the application a name. So it'd be iNav Configurator. Application URL, we can just leave blank. Application type, we can leave on basic. And for application type, I believe I chose Windows application. So you just fill those boxes in. Oh, it's down here anyway. So application type, basic Windows application. Yeah, that's all you need to do. Okay, so you'd click create. So there we go. You can see it's generated my new key for uh, iNav configurator. So it's got uh, no exp expiry date. It's all set up and running. You can view the key or you can just click copy key here and it will put it in your clipboard. So now let's head back into iNav Configurator and we're gonna go here and just click on paste. Once the key's in there, we can just close the gear and I don't know if we need to restart. Let's just try going to welcome and then back in. No, nope, there we go. So now we're using our Bing Maps. We can see 
on here where all the trees are, all the bushes. So now if you're creating a mission, you can make sure that you avoid trees, bushes, that sort of thing. For those of you who want to know where the trees are, now you can. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up, click the subscribe button and the bell icon, which will help get this video out to more people so they can learn how to do this too. Thanks for watching guys. Flow models like you stole them and see you on the next one.